Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about how we can design U-shaped staircase geometrically and calculate concrete volume in it. But before starting our design, there are some recommendations from international building codes we need to consider. The first recommendation is riser height. Riser height should be between 4 inch and 7, 3 over 4 inch. This equivalent to 10.16 cm and 19.68 cm. Second recommendation is minimum thread should be not less than 10 inch, which equal 25.4 cm. The third one is minimum stair width, should be not less than 36 inch or 91.5 cm. The fourth one is a stair need to achieve this equation, which is 2 multiplied by riser plus a thread should equal 25 inch or 63.5 centimeter and finally waist thickness should be according to American Concrete Institute codes equal length of a stair divided by 20. Now we will start designing our U-shaped stair. Assume the height between two floors is 3.2 meter or 10.5 feet. The first thing we need to do, dividing the floor height into two parts, because U-shaped stair contain two slides. The second step is assuming riser height. We will assume riser height is 16 cm or 6.3 inch. And this is with international building documentation. Now we need to find number of riser in one flight, which equal 160 divided by 16. This equal to riser. The equation of 2 multiplied by riser plus thread equal 25 inch or 63.5 cm will be used here to find the trend length. So the trend length will equal 31.5 cm or 12.4 inch. This value is not less than 10 inch so the trend length is ok. We need now to find the total run of a stair. The total run will equal number of threads multiplied by trend length. The number of a thread is equal number of riser minus 1, which equal 9. So total run will equal 9 multiplied by 31.5 cm, which equal 283.5 cm. Our stair has 20 riser at 16 cm height and 18 thread at 31.5 cm length and total run is 283.5 cm. Now let's calculate concrete volume in our stair. We will assume the width of the stair is 100 cm and the landing length is 130 cm. We will divide the stair into three parts, two flights and one landing. The concrete volume in one flight is equal to triangle area of steps plus rectangular area of waist multiplied by width. Triangular area of, of steps is equal 0.5 multiplied by 16 and by 31.5 and by 9. The surface area of waist or rectangle area of waist is equal hypotenuse of a step multiplied by number of steps multiplied by waist thickness. So we need here to find hypotenuse of step. This can be found easily by calculating square root of 16 square plus 31.5 square which equal 35.3 cm. We need also to find here the waist thickness. We can calculate waist th thickness by using ACI code recommendation. So waist thickness is equal 35.3 multiplied by 9 plus 130 
divided by 20 which equal 22.3 centimeter so we will take it as 22 centimeter after finding waist thickness and hypotenuse of step now we can calculate rectangle area of waist easily so rectangle area of waist will equal 9 multiplied by 35.3 multiplied by 0.22 now let's calculate flight volume it's equal 0.23 plus 0.7 multiplied by 1 which equal 0.93 cubic meter landing volume is equal 1.3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 0.22 since we will consider the landing thickness as the same as waist thickness the landing volume is equal 0.57 cubic meter now the total concrete volume in the stair is equal 2 multiplied by 0.93 plus 0.57 which equal 2.43 cubic meter and if you guys see this video helpful for you please subscribe for ch this channel and make a comment if you have any question thank you